Welcome back to Rome Total War, The Barbarian Invasions, where we are taking steps, guys, slowly but surely, to solidify our empire. It's, uh, I think it's made whole again now. I think we can say that with a bit of conviction. We are slowly but surely converting the settlements to Christianity, one settlement at a time. It's taking its time, but we are getting there, which is good. I think the latest one to join the, uh, the Christian cause is Augusta Vindelicorum up here, which is all good. Now, we've got our faction leader heading north to Germania Superior to add a bit of um, Christian zeal there. Because I think if we can get Augusta Trevororum and uh, then even Colonia Agrippina to go Christian, then we'll have like a solid Christian wall here that we can uh, start using to convert all of our other settlements over in the west. Which is, uh, yeah, which is, which is exactly what we want to be doing. So, yeah, let's, let's hope we can do that there. Meanwhile, a little bit down south here in um, northern Italy, we have successfully beaten back the Vandals in the first wave, the uh, the first assault against them. We managed to trap them in our fort here, and then just wrecked them, absolutely wrecked them. We did lose a few men, unfortunately, but um, I, I think overall we, we did a pretty successful victory there. Gratianus the Lily Livered, not so Lily Livered in my opinion. I think we should maybe do something about that name, but I'm thinking that is more an unfortunate byproduct of the settlement in which he was raised, rather than his actual ability. Because he's got freaking seven stars. I mean, just look at that. Ain't that great. But anyhow, this turn, we... I think we're going to be doing something about the Berbers here. So as you can see, Lepus Magna, they're making a move on us again, and up there in, um, what once in Carthage, they're coming at us again, and yeah, they're, they're a bit like pesky gnat bites. So I think this episode, we're going to maybe focus on kind of dealing with them, because... North Africa should be a kind of settled province by now. I mean, it was in OG Rome. If you haven't uh, checked out that series, then you should. So I think we're going to make it a settled province in this one. So let's start off. We've got Titus Flavius. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. How are we doing? Okay, yeah, we should be able to do this. Yeah. All right, they got some decent stuff. But I think if we can route them, use everything we've got. We can't do night battles, okay. Yeah, let's just use what we've got. We've got a slight advantage. I mean, evenly matched. They do outnumber us. But, yeah, we should be alright. Let's go. Alright, let's go. into these Berbers. Okay, into the camels. Oh, we've got to be careful here. Our general's okay. Excellent. Lots of stuff running. I like that. I like the sight of that. Okay, that was good. Gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. Uh, let's His get into these lances. Doom approaches. I mean, I think we're doing okay. Oh yes, there we go. There we go. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our Right, run them down, guys, run them down. First blood to us. A cracking victory. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think we... Did we get, did we get them all? We might have missed a few. But I think we did well. Nice. Yeah, okay, we need to get a proper force on the go. And get these guys out there. and start taking it to the Berbers. Because, um, as you guys can see, they're, they're not really that much of a threat. Like, the stuff they're sending against us. Oh, we didn't get them all. Okay, no worries. 
Yeah, just a few of them. Okay, 60 of them. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay, well, we're building some barracks here. We'll, we'll, let's get some archers. Yeah, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll feel pretty good if we can get some archers here, so let's do that. And at least have them as a garrison, I think. Now, you see, because they're, they're sending more nonsense our way. But the thing is, they don't actually have any roads to their settlements, so... Maybe something like a spy would be pretty useful, but I don't have a spy. Can I get a spy here? In Carthage? I could. If I could train anything. But the thing is, do I want to step out and march on these guys? I mean, probably. Oh, do I? 900 odd. 800 odd. Let's let's just let's take a look at what things are going to be like. Let's just have a, a little peek. Yeah. I mean, we kind of expected that there. I mean, I think we could take him. What do you think? Up here's the honest. I think we can take this guy. Let's go. Let's go. Why why go easy on the Berbers when we can go hard on them? That's what I say. Let's go. Oh boy, is the general coming in? I think the general might actually be coming into us. Oh, this is going to be even better than I thought. Let's, let, yeah, let's just do some general sniping right off the bat. I mean, why not? Okay, my archers have run. One unit of run. That's not great. But if we can take out this general right off the bat. The there we go. Slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to I will take that. I will gladly take that. Oh, oh, lovely. And now the rest of them are running. Isn't that grand? Isn't that grand? Okay, let's watch out for the spearmen. Okay, get into those hillmen if you please. Let's get into these cavalry. Let's get our general around this way. Let's get, uh... There we go. Get some good moves on the go. We can get around to the back of these uh, these hillmen and uh, scare the bejesus out of them. Lovely. Okay, that is another unit to dealt with. Lovely. I think we are doing a swimming job here. Okay, these guys, my Fodorati, I'm not too thrilled about them. You guys, come around there, up up the Fodorati. Oh, I should probably send the general, shouldn't I? Okay, general's going, don't worry. Hold up. Just chill. Just chill, guys, just chill. There we go. Okay, Hillman are running. Right, General, get over there. Yeah, okay, so... The, um... Our archers... They, they didn't do as spectacular a job as I was hoping. Like, it has... Oh, they were drawing. It has categorically been all about the horse, this episode. This, uh, this battle. But yeah, they've, uh, they've, they've earned their bread and butter. They've earned their pay. Well done, guys. Well done. I mean, I think, yeah, that's basically a wrap. Come on, can we get down to 15%? That's what I want to know. That is what I want to know. Wunderbar. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Oh, I think we might have gotten there. Maybe. Just maybe. Let's see.
Yeah, let's speed things along a bit. There we go. Demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Clearly, okay, that was that was good. That was good. I got to say, I was um, I was expecting more of the Fodorati in that battle. Probably mistakenly, because uh, we know these guys never do the job, Un unless it's against cavalry. I've noticed they can do a passable job then, but yeah, ordinarily. Fodorati, da. It's, it's not happening. But um, the old Limitane, they, they, they pulled out. They stepped up. So I might have to keep an eye on them. Anyhow, North Africa, done. We'll, uh, we'll start building a, a proper fighty force here and start sending them out against the Berbers. I'd like to see what is around here. Um, yeah, can I... So I'm already training one spy. I'll get, I'll get some spy doing some stuff. Because... See, there's a road. Is this a road or is this a border? This is a road. Yeah. So it looks like there's a road that goes here. That that might be a settlement. Okay, this could be a target. Keep an eye on this, guys. Keep an eye on this here. Right, back to more important things. Okay, so Aquincum, we said the new name of the game now is getting this population up and running. Because it looks like we can start training some decent units here. Some Comitatenses, Fodorati Cavalry... Um, all the rest of it, but unfortunately we just don't have the population to be uh, able to man or to be able to bolster or retrain some of these forces. So get the population up, get things going there. In the meantime, I've got old Oppius Flavius, our other general, who uh, relieved the Alamani of their settlement here, of their capital, Campus Quadi. I've got him hold up on this bridge, because if the Eastern Romans decide they want to come back, then they will be faced with a Roman wall. I mean, not, not a literal wall, but, I mean, a wall of spears and swords and horse archers. Which is, uh, which is, I think, the classical definition of a wall. So, yeah, they can they can come through this here. Or they can just bugger off back home for all I care. But, back home, they've got other problems to deal with. They've got the Huns. Ha! Yeah, they, they, they had it coming. Now, I really hope the Huns actually attack them, rather than decide to bypass them and come after me. Because that would not be funny. I mean, that would be funny, but that would not be cool. Anyhow, let's end the turn, see what the computer does, and uh, see what course of action we need to take. Uh, yep, yeah, good, let's go. Okay, summation dignitaries. Alright, so it looks like the Vandals, since we kicked them out of, their, out of uh, our territory, it looks like they're making a move on the Western Rebels down south. Down in Croatia. A lot of people, a lot of uh, factions just moving their folks around. Okay, we, remember we want to keep an eye out on the Franks. As they are now our northernmost neighbor, northeastern most neighbor. And on the one hand, we want them to do well, because we're friends with them. But we don't want them to do too well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, best case, the Huns attack. The Eastern Romans, like, give them an, an absolutely one hell of a bloody nose. The Eastern Romans will probably lose. I mean, against all that there. But they deal a decent amount of damage to the Huns. I could really go for that. If you please. Alright. What is going on next? So, the Romans are coming. Manius the Mean, against Oppius Flav. How are we doing in terms of numbers? 1700 and 19. We're roughly evenly matched, but we do hold the bridge. They've got Limitane. Uh, they've got, um, Comitatenses. Not great. But so do we. We've got ranged units. We could use some more. And it looks like we can start training. Or retraining some of... Ugh, no we can't. No we can't. My god, we need the population here. We need some population. Over here, we are restocking the force here. Gratianus the Lily Livered, he did a damn good job of taking this fort. And now he can do a damn good job of, like, holding the fort. There we go. Let's get all of you guys out there. 
Let's get this army nicely restocked and reinforced. It's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, you guys, you guys are dead, basically. Oh yeah, you, you guys are definitely dead. <laughs> okay, that that is all good. All well and good. Let's carry on. Uh, our faction leader. Where do we want him? Okay, we've got this place convert like m ch moving over to Christianity, ever so slightly, which is great, which is really really good. I like this. Uh, what about up here? Here is what. Okay, yes, the conversion's happening. It's flipping happening, guys. It is really happening. Okay, this is great. Let's uh, let's get our faction leader just. You know, just chilling about here in the settlement. He doesn't have to go anywhere, he just has to help convert. How about in this place? No, this place is obstinately uh, pagan. But we can't really do anything about that now. So that is... that's unfortunate, but that's fine. Another quick settlement check. So here, you guys are cool. You guys are cool. We could do some upgrading, actually. Like, leveling up these settlements. Okay, let's get back to Carthage. Mr. Spy. Get round here, if you please. Get round here and get down here. If you please. Uh, an old Lepus Magna. We're building some archers now. Training some archers, rather. And they will help with the defense of this place. Now, this place is nice and Christian. That is good. Oh, yeah, it's very Christian. And Titus Flavius. I can't really do much with old Titus Flavius at the moment. I mean, he's got some horse underneath him, but he doesn't really have much to leave the settlement with. So you just chill there, and, like, yeah, we'll be able to just reinforce and defend this area if it comes under attack. But in the meantime, let's just get more units pumped out here, sent over to Gratianus. How many? We can do three more, so I think that might actually be it. One, two, three. Does anything need to be retrained here? Maybe you guys. Yeah, okay, I'll send you back. Uh, no, you guys go back to Rome. And, in fact, I'll train, if I can. Another unit of horse archers there. And then we should be good to go. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, let's just keep things moving there. Keep things going well. Population here is going up slowly but surely. There as well. Oh, wait, that's what I could do. I could do a bit of population migration, couldn't I? I mean, would it be worth it? No, it's a bit far. Okay, now I think, uh, I think, I think we are good with that there. Right, let's end the turn, see what the computer does. A worthy life ends? Wait, wait, who, who died? Or oh, diplomat? Oh, oh, you! Not diplomat who walked all the way over to Egypt. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that was a worthy life. Well, I think it was a life well worth it. Like, he walked a fair bit, didn't he? That was a life well lived, guys. We have to admit, come on. Alright, what is going on? with the rest of uh, the world. Okay, Lombardians doing Lombardian stuff. Sassanids as well. Okay. Oh god, this is what I didn't want. This is what I did not want. The Huns have broken off. My god, honestly. Is it too much to ask? Even the Vandals have broken off their siege. Is it too much to flip and ask a barbarian faction to just commit to something? Oh no! Our faction leader's dead! The gods have seen fit to send this man to the afterlife. His household, even his slaves, will surely mourn his passing. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, let's... let's Take a quick look here at um, Alamani. Oh, no, wait, that's, not, that's the wrong one. This is the one. Oh, come on. Oh, we were doing so well. Basically, our faction leader there was tilting the, um, 
the, uh, the, the religion here towards Christianity. Oh, and we were doing so well. Okay, we're gonna have to find a way to, to get that back in our favor again. We might just... I mean, this is even Stevens. Nero, you're coming down here, and your presence here is gonna push this place to be super Christian. That's what we want. That's what we want, that's what we need. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Then, we need to start getting this place prepped properly, because... Like, it's all well and good having these, like, focusing on religion, but we need to start actually building up these settlements and focusing on defense. Because the enemy, the barbarians, they won't wait wait for us. They, they will come. So I think we need to start really, really focusing on that. Let's let's do it. So, Augusta Trevororum, I want you guys able to train Comitatenses if it comes to it. So that is your focus from here on out. You're going to be a Christian settlement that pumps out decent fighter units. That, that's that's your guys' focus. That's all you guys need to think about for the time being. Right, this place is cool. Uh, maybe get some... Ugh, I'm running out of money already. Already. Uh, get back to Rome. Uh, you guys, get out there. Get in there, if you please. All right, this army is looking good once again. Yeah, we can we can fight some stuff now. We should be able to. Sweet jeez. Is that right? Your honor, moving. Is that right? Your honor. Hang on, I need I need to be able to see this. I need to be able to see what is here. Your honor. There's what the hell kind of delta is this here? There's an eleven to eighty-eight percent chance of success. Is that right? Yes. I need to see what 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 is here. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay, killed during his mission. Oh god. I... Yeah, the delta on that is just too big. I need to see what's here. Basically, my concern is that there are one, two, three, four, five generals units in this army. In which case, this is effectively a doom stack. Yeah, so we need to be careful. We really need to be careful there. Um, what's going on here? God, we still can't... We just don't have the population, do we? Not to retrain some of our... The units that we want. Ooh, we can get... We can get some Asian archers. Nice. But we've got horse archers. We don't need more. Yeah, let's, let's stick to the stuff that we need. Um, yeah, just just leave things as they are. They just let their population grow organically. Carthage, we said they'd be back, and they're back. The Berbers. Okay, you were going down here, and you guys were coming here. Now, is it worth marching out with this army? Can we do it? You know what I say? I don't think we need to build a super mega stack army here. I think maybe we just need a couple of units of horse. What do you think? We've seen how well old RPS the Honest does here with some horses. So if we have a few more, he can just run circles around all of this desert stuff. And if he starts making his push towards the other settlements here, I think he can do some good. Like, a bigger concern would be old Lepus Magna. But it looks like we can actually train some stuff here now, which is good. We've got archers. Yeah, this, this place is going to be okay. If we can get the population up a little bit more, if we can get some stone walls, then I will feel really good. Stone walls and maybe train some horse. I think that could be... Yeah, that's, that's what we need. Okay, I'm going to save up for horses here. Save up for horse. That that that's what yeah that's what we're doing. Okay. Right, good stuff. Uh, another quick turn. Let's end it. See what is going on. Yeah, our faction leader died. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. The Huns declared war on us. Why? Oh, this is not good. Let's take a look at some stuff. Yeah, we got the Huns. So we're, at the moment we're at war with the Huns, the Sarmatians, the Vandals, 
the Berbers, and the Eastern Roman Empire. Oh, and some rebels. We don't really care about rebels. Yeah, that's that's not great. That is not great. Mm. I mean, we should be okay. Right, let's end the turn. It's because we're too cool. We have a big, established, growing empire. It's making money. It's slowly but surely becoming Christian. With some grumpy settlements. No wonder everyone wants a piece of us. I mean, we shouldn't be too surprised. Okay. Okay. Ha! They went the long way around. But. They've, uh, kind of missed out on the fact that behind them, there is a big army. So, yeah, we're just gonna wreck them. Right, first of all, let's do some moving about. You guys get in there. Right, that army's gonna be ready to go in a second. You guys get back to Rome. So, I think it's time to take on Manius the Mean. We don't like him. But... This is what it's come to. This is what it's come to. We, we're going to have to do this a little bit carefully. Because I don't want really to be losing these units. So let's see how we how we do this. Yikes, looking at this here, it's only even now. What the hell? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, bad news for us. They've got something of a hill. But good news for us, their numbers are... I mean, they're a bit all over the place, because they are a bit panicked by all of this jazz coming from behind them. So let's, uh, let's use that. Let's use that to our advantage, shall we? Got my horse archers arching away. Okay, is he coming in? He's coming in. I do not believe he's coming in. He's actually coming in. Guys, let's go. Let's get this guy. Get this guy, if you please. The Generalissimo himself. Come on. Take him down. Oh, God. Oh, God. He seems to be wrapping up our lines. But I'm not having that. Okay, you guys. Into there. Team 1. Let's go. Let's get some general on general action. We're taking this guy down. We are taking him down. There he is. Oh yeah, you're shaking now, aren't you, buddy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come on, we're taking this guy out. Come on. Take him out. Come on. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. There we go. All right, team one, take on these peasants. They're withdrawing. They've had enough. They are not liking things. Alright, you're taking on these combat tenses. Cool, that is fine with me. Yeah, they're bugging out. Did we... Like, where did they all go? I think it's a bit difficult to uh, to decipher the units, because uh, of the purple and the, the red. How are we doing? We, we are doing very well. Oh, it's okay. There we go. Okay, come on, into the combat tenses. Let's go. There we go. Now they're starting to run. Like this, why couldn't you guys do this earlier?
There we go. There we go. Now, once again, this is great. We've, uh, we will have won a decent victory against him. But, you'll recall the problem with this whole area of the world. There's just no population in the settlement. So, anything we lose here is effectively gone. And it's going to be a real mission to retrain. And this day is clearly our victory! You're damn straight, Mr. Narrator, man. You're damn straight. Alright, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, and some of them got away. Ugh. Okay, unit of horse. Equi oh, a whole unit, look at that. But yeah, nothing spectacular. Eastern archers, nothing spectacular. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Hello. Can I be of service? Oh yeah. Let's let's see what's over here, shall we? Okay, so there might actually be something in there. That's uh, <laughs> not uh, not great. Um but in terms of retraining, can we... Not really. Imperator. Not really, that's the thing. My god, I've got to retrain some of these guys, I can't... Oh. Okay. Daryl. You guys, get over here. Can't even train another unit of peasants. That's fine. That is fine. We're just gonna have to do some population migration. Like there's, there's nothing else for it. If I want this, maybe some of you guys disbanding some of you. Like, but this is gonna be so expensive just to get units to retrain the stuff I've got here. But it might be the only thing I can do. All right, so l l let's let's do that. Let's do some proper retraining for once. With the stuff I can retrain. Okay, so do I merge? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Instead of eight, what if I had four? Four decent units. Four decent strength units. How about that? So I got one. Two, one, two, three. General. Yeah, how, how about that? Sir. One, two, three, four. And that, that seems reasonable, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that. Then... You know, I, I am liking these uh, Limitane. They... I'm not really one for spearmen. I mean, for, um... Like skirmish units, but these guys have—they've done their job. They're doing a pretty decent job as well. There we go. I might even send some units from Ravenna. Okay, and now the Vandals. The Vandals are going to make a play at us, but Gratianus—he's going to be moving this army down the coast and challenging them. So let's just see what we got. Yeah, the, 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 these armies—they don't look as impressive as the stuff that was here before. So, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Gratianus can do this. But, General. Oppius, you are going to be our new uh, counter move over here. We need you to start making a move down this way, because this is what that's what it's all about. We need the population around here, and the population is going to be feeding into the army that's going to be pushing in that direction. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And yeah, I think this is, this is how we're going to do it now. We're going to just... We're going to raise population from here. Population from here is going to be heading out that way towards the Quincum. We're going to be disbanding them, and then we're going to be training them as units to uh, fight on our frontier. But we do have to kind of be careful, because we can't keep going and exterminating all of the settlements that we get to, because we need the population to be fighting for us. Even though, on the one hand, exterminating is a little bit more efficient in terms of um, getting the unhappiness control in order. But anyhow, 
Another happy turn. Uh, let's just move you down. Can you see the Huns? I want to see the Huns. Can't see the Huns. Okay, never mind. Let's call it a turn. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on here? Rebellion or worse? Where? Where is this? Has been risen in descent. Uh, perhaps we may profit from the struggle. Uh, where, 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 where is this? It doesn't say. Okay. It's not one of my places, is it? No. Maybe up here. We've got to be a bit careful here. Yeah, let's just let's be careful. No reason to rock the boat. Want everyone nice and happy. No rebellions, no no sedition, anything like that. They're just everyone nice and happy. I mean everyone's not nice and happy. But I would like everyone to be nice and happy, thank you. Yeah, that's that's okay. I mean, what am I doing with you guys? You've got low upkeep, but if you're not in the settlement. Uh actually maybe maybe you guys did serve a purpose. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. I think that is all. Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's call it a turn. Let's go. Honestly, on the one hand, I don't know what's up with these barbarian factions, the Vandals. The, this whole will they, won't they, with respect to this uh, settlement, Salona. I mean, on the one hand, I like the indecision, because it means that they they split up their forces, and they don't take any definitive direction. But on the other, it, uh, it doesn't really, I mean, it, it kind of helps us a bit. Because it just gives us time to get our affairs in order. And I suspect that... Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, maybe it's quite good that they've been so wishy-washy. So indecisive. Okay, here we go. The Huns. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we've got an army that can, I believe, do something about that. I'm still sending you guys up this way. What's the quickest way to get to a Quinkum? That way. Good. And you guys get in there. And you can be disbanded. Lovely. Big happy population. I like that. I do like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What are we doing with this army? Does this army... Want to go stand on a bridge? Because I feel like it might. Ah, oh, we're just out of range, aren't we? Okay, yeah. Let's wait one more turn and then we move. So retrain the stuff we can there. We're retraining the decent units. Yeah, and then next turn, this army can uh, can move out. One, two, three. That's exactly what we need. One, two, three. Excellent. And then we have more units coming in to uh, bolster the population. More population means more units that we can... Uh, or a greater pool from which we can recruit, which is exactly what we want to be doing. So yes, it's coming together. Okay, now down here. Ready to sail. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm going to keep you here. Ready to sail. And as and when we get more units, I'm going to be ferrying you over. Like so. Do we retrain? Yeah, let's let's build them up in Ravenna. We've got some comet Tenses coming, that's good. What else? I think that should be it. 
I want two units of you, if you please. And yeah, and we'll, we'll we'll be in a good stead there. Okay, come on. Augusta Trevorum, where's my Christianity? We're getting there. Come on. Come on. Slowly but surely. Give me a priest. Will a priest make a difference? No, a priest acts like an actual unit, doesn't it, on the field? Hmm. It's an infantry. Yeah, probably not. Okay. No worries. There it is. There it is. Out in the middle of the desert, Demidi. Right, that's that's the uh, that's the prize. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay, I think this army can do it. What do you guys think? We get him out of here. Uh, we'll get some archers and archers and some horses, I think, and they'll be okay. Train some mercs. Some camel riders we could do. Uh, what can we... Stop building. Or stop training. Yeah. Sorry, one, one less unit of peasants there. Means... Actually, we don't need to... Oh, we can't afford it. This thing's going to be so expensive. Yeah, we can't actually do that now. No worries. Let's march on these guys. Engage the enemy. Victory and glory. Yeah, okay, let's curb stomp these Berbers. Engage the enemy. We'll do it manually, just in case. Okay, a uh, decent amount of arching has begun. Lovely. Uh, axemen, you guys... They're shaken, yeah. Mind charging them if you please? Okay, the axemen have run. Good, good, good. What about into them? General Fleas! Press forward so the spirit of his And what about the yeah, there we go? The enemy show their true virtue. They are not so Alright, stop firing if you please. Rabbits running from our men. And uh yeah, overall good uh, good battle. Get them and round off everything if you please. Voila! Okay, very good victory. Yeah, this is why I say the, the Berbers, come on. They're not a threat. They are a nuisance. Lovely. Um, okay, let's keep it going. We'll keep it going along there. Now, they can send stuff through the desert here. We don't really care. Because our older Tripoli, Lepus Magna here, this place can defend itself. And I'd like to build some horses, but I, I train some horses, but I can't just yet. Carthage, you guys are all gravy. Uh, let's give you guys monthly games for the time being. Archers are coming, and you'll be fine. And yeah, I think that is that is gold, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen next. Are the Huns going to come at us? Are the Vandals going to make a move? Or are they going to commit to taking out these rebels? Let's, uh, let's see. Um, nothing going on there. Okay, idle. I'm curious where this... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go.
Okay. They're coming. The Huns. Oh boy. Now, I had planned on having these guys move out. But looking at all this jazz, I think we might as well just stay put here. I'm thinking. They can definitely outflank us, but we've got a pretty decent defensible position here. And uh, it, it would definitely be more fortuitous to have them come at us rather than meet them out in the field because they've got a lot of horses. I'm going to bring you guys right down here onto this bridge and I'm going to bring so we can have three more one, two and what What? what do we say? One, two one, two, three uh, maybe another unit of horse right? One, two, and three. We need we need light horse. Yeah, I think this could be it. Go on, guys. Go on. Okay, now we can't actually train anything yet, but that's fine. It's absolutely fine. We kind of an anticipated that. We totally expected it. But this army now can go and uh, whoop some behind. So let's see, what have they got here? Yes. Without delay. Dear God in heaven. This is a doomstack. My God in heaven, this is a this is an actual doomstack. Holy moly. Wow. Um, okay. Nine to like, sweet jeez. Okay, maybe if we plunk this on the bridge and have them come at us, that might be useful. Let's get uh, our PS the Honest moving out. Now I'm thinking, I'd like a... Uh, can I get a watchtower here? There we go. It's for you, Steve. It's for you. Uh, this, yeah, this is nice. it's not going to be a problem, is he? Okay, we've got a settlement there. What about along here? What about along the coast? Secrecy is assured. Do you guys see anything? Secrecy is assured. Something here, maybe. Maybe. But if we can get this place, it will Demidi be the the last settlement that they have here? That's what I'm wondering. It's a minor city. I don't believe it's their capital. But yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get Demidi. We're, we're, we're making gains there. Uh, and here, everything is good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it's happening, isn't it? It's happening. All right, another quick and happy turn. Let's end it. See what the Huns decide to do. Yeah, I know I've got idle stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. Faction leader didn't die. Well, not this turn anyway, but that has reminded me of something. So, Nero Flavius is our new faction leader, which is all well and good, but I like to be in control of um, who's going to be the next heir apparent. So, let's see. So, at the moment, who's... Um, who is the number two? Cassius the Lily Livid is the new heir apparent. He's 60, which means he's not going to survive long. Now that's not great because, uh, I mean, him being Caesar, what does that give him? Influence personal security, that is good. But yeah, basically, I'm, I'm, I want a Christian. It's going to be Christians all the way with respect to um, faction leaders and factioneers and whatnot. So maybe Appius the Honest, he could be good. My only problem with him is he's in, he's in the middle of nowhere. Decius Flavius. No. Gratianus the Lily Levid. And could do. Okay, let, let, let's see how... Let's see who's, who, who is here. So, over this way. Oppius would be great, but he's not a Christian. 
so unfortunately can't be him. Gratianus could be good. He is a Christian. In fact, he's really good. What about Gratianus? Okay, Gratianus, you've proven yourself. You are not a craven coward. You are, in fact, the new Caesar. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, let's call it a turn. See what the computer does. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Happy little bridge battle. The vandals are coming at us. Okay. What have they got? Peasants? Nonsense. Step horde. But some missile horsies. That is fine with us. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Been waiting for this. Didn't realize that it would be the, um, the vandals, but I'll take it. Now the thing is, I completely forgot that in this game they can, uh, they can swim. Or at least some of their units can. Now that doesn't really help them here. Because these swimmy units are going to be, uh, dead bodies pretty soon. Look at that, look at all those step hordes. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. My archers are doing good work, good, 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 they're shaken. And the thing is, as long as they're in the water, they can't throw anything at us. They can't use the fact that they're missile cavalry to uh, missile anything at us, which is great. So now they are going to have to rely on sending stuff across the bridge. And that is where I have advantage. Okay, these guys could hurt. They look like they mean business. But they are shaken. They're being arched down from everywhere. Okay, peasants, peasants, nothing to worry about. Right, are these, is this the general? This looks like the general. Arch him down, if you please. Remember, this general goes down, and they should take a massive morale hit. My god, my guys are getting some... They're getting some licks in as well. Okay, we have to send in my, uh, my, my big boys, my legionaries. The Limitani, they've done great. They're not really designed for this here, they're more skirmish units, but... Like, credit to them, they've done a brilliant job. Right, the general himself... Is, uh, is basically knocking on heaven's door. Right, into the general. Into the general, if you please. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! Et voila. His men know their doom approaches. Et voila. Alright, let's go. Wrap them up, guys. Wrap it up. God, yeah, we, we did lose a fair number of guys here. But this is a wrap. Like, yeah, this is basically a wrap, right? Are they withdrawing? They're withdrawing. Okay, let's get our horses across. Basically, because my guys decided to swim across instead of just use the friggin' bridge. Like, look at them, a fair number of them managed to get away. And we could have killed them. Ugh. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but I shouldn't be too disappointed. Victory and glory! Okay. So that's how the Vandals decided to spend their turn. Franks doing normal Frank stuff. Okay, so they took uh, they took the Lombardy capital. Yeah, watch out for the Franks. The Burgundians. What are you guys up to? Dear friend. They want an alliance. So they're allies with the Franks. 
They're at war with the Saxons. We're trade partners with the Saxons. No, sorry guys. Until next time. Until next time. What the flipping heck? The Eastern Romans took the long way round. What the flipping heck? What? Okay, the Huns are coming in. We Eastern rebels. Okay. I think. Um. Wait, did the did the vandals do it? Did they take them out? I don't know. But over here, okay, more vandal nonsense. Jeez, there's that doom stack. There's that doom stack. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Definite doom stacks about, but we've got our reinforcements there. That is good. And we can stand up to all of this nonsense. So, let's do a bit of merging, like so. And let's get you guys to join up. Lovely. Yeah. Now, this is an army. This is an army. Okay. We're bringing you guys over here to be disbanded. Lovely. Look at that population boost. Beautiful. Absolutely friggin' lootly beautiful. And now we can retrain some stuff and actually train train some other stuff. So let's get some more Komita tensors. As they are some good chunky units. Lovely. And then we can send units down here to reinforce as and when. But now this army should be pretty good at holding off all of the this vandal nonsense. Yeah, now th this is what this game is about. This is the kind of warfare that you do against the barbarians. Bridge battles, defensive sieges. We're, we're really getting into it now. This, this is what it's about. Now meanwhile over here, we're dealing with the Huns. They are new enemy. Persona non-hater. God, and they look pretty good as well. Look at that, I see some silver chevrons in there, my god. Oh dear god, this is not going to be fun. We might actually be trapped. But actually, if we could... Now might be the time to break out of here. If we could do it this turn, they should only have this here coming to reinforce, right? Okay, we'll, we'll consider it, because this could be a fortuitous moment to just kind of smash a few of them and then get the hell out. So we'll think about that, okay? Consider it. Meanwhile, down here, the uh, Eastern Romans have caught us completely by surprise. They've completely blindsided us. I've been so uh, focused on mining the Berbers that I completely forgot that, yeah, they actually share a border with us here. And they've marched an army all the way from Egypt, crossed Siwa over here, and they've uh, made a move on Lepis Magna. Which is not good. My god, 1,500 of them. Yikes. Okay, this will be some kind of defensive siege. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be Hannah Bolanius. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be work. But we should be able to do it. I'm I'm I mean maybe. This <laughs> this could be the end of us. We'll we'll see. We will see. Okay, meanwhile, over here. General. Up here is the honest. He's honestly Sir. whooping Berber behind. Yeah, we can, we can do that in a second. That's going to be nothing. But slowly making his way towards Demidi, where he's going to uh, relieve the Berbers of one of their settlements. So yeah, it's all going off, guys. It, it is all kicking off. I mean, a lot of stuff's happened. And uh, we're holding on. Slowly but surely. We are slowly pushing back the enemy. But yeah, it's a bit all over the place. But anyhow, guys, I think it is time for a quick break here. When we get back... We will be pushing back against the various Horde factions and Eastern Roman factions that are threatening our borders. So yeah, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.